Dreaminit AI has just launched their 3.0 Pro model, and it is absolutely crushing the industry in terms of text to video and image to video prompts. In this video, we're going to dive in and look at the differences between Dreamina AI and big competitors like Google VO3. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Maria. I'm a professional photographer, but I also work in marketing and I love exploring the new world of AI. So in this series, we're going to start diving deep into some of the AI tools out there that are absolutely crushing in terms of video capabilities to help you build your B-roll library and to help you with your daily workflow. So let's dive right in. So let's talk about why this ByteDance Dreamin' AI is absolutely disrupting the industry of AI. Everybody knows that Google VO3 is about $250 a month and it is pretty much the industry leader right now, except this Dreamin' AI has absolutely come in and taken over. Let's start with the players. On one side, we have VO3. It's known for creating detailed artistic videos like ASMR clips featuring slicing through glass strawberries, something that feels almost too real to be AI generated. And on the other side, we have Byte Dance's Rumina AI that actually costs nothing if you know how to get in the back door. One of the key reasons why I think Dreamin' AI is making waves is its ability to handle multi-shot storytelling. So picture this, you type a prompt for a video of a couple eloping on the cliffs of Maui. Instead of one static scene, Dreamin' AI can generate multiple scenes within a sequence, multiple shots, dynamic angles, consistency details, no matter how challenging the transitions might be in between scenes. Now compare that to VO3. While its results are impressive on a scene-by-scene -scene basis, it really struggles with maintaining character consistency when asked to create multiple scene projects. Dreamin' AI shines in this department, giving creators tools to build more of a cohesive storyline, which in marketing is so important. So I've been testing this out in my workflow and it is shocking. I'm gonna show you some real examples of things that I've created with just simple text to prompt, and the results are jaw-dropping. And the differences don't actually stop here. We've been using Google VO3 for very simple B-roll in our workflow, and it's a hit or miss. But with Dreamin' AI, I've actually been surprised by how impressive these results are. Now, isn't just beating Google, it's truly outperforming it in every major competitor out there. In the rapidly growing market of AI video generation, there is no shortage of players trying to stand out. And I have tried them all. And let me just tell you, a lot of them promise big results and do not deliver. But with this one, I was pleasantly surprised. You've got tools like Sora by OpenAI or Kling, Midjourney's video models, and even Runway AI all offering different strengths, but here's the kicker. Despite having impressive individual features of these managed to deliver the full package that Dreamina offers. I'm gonna show you a prompt right now. So I told Dreamina, a happy and beautiful couple getting married on the cliffs of Maui during golden hour sunset, cut to same characters kissing, cut to same couple holding hands and walking through the frame. I just wanted to see what it would create when given pretty vague context. I gave it the time of day, I gave it a location, I gave it like a general scene to play off of and look at these results. Now let's talk about some of the competitors and what those competitors are good for. So Sora, it's famous for its ultra realistic lighting, physics, camera movements, which create stunning lifestyle videos, but ask any user, that it has a really big, strict content moderation and can be a huge drawback. So innocent prompts can actually get flagged, altered, and then you're just burning through credits without even getting good footage. Dreamina doesn't limit your creativity in that way. Now, Midjourney's video model tells another story. Its cinematic animations are breakthrough with authentic human movements and dynamic storytelling. But here's the catch. It operates on a credit heavy pricing system and even with the basic model it gets eaten up really quickly and then there's cling ai its standout feature is the ability to generate consistent characters scenes which is so helpful when utilizing ai for content creation 
but its complex interface and steeper learning curve gets many users frustrated, especially when results are not consistent as expected. So that removes that friction. And I was able to learn this in a matter of minutes. It's so user-friendly. The UX UI is wonderful. And within seconds of my first video generation, I had something that was ready to go. You can generate a scene as simple as a panda eating bamboo and still get flawless details every single time. And even Runway AI, which appeals to a lot of beginners with its user-friendly design, falls short in terms of resolution and overall video quality. So what are my thoughts on this? I think this is an absolute game changer for photographers or videographers looking to create stunning b-roll for marketers looking to upload their product and create b-roll of their product. It allows people to test without a really hefty price tag. So I'm curious to know what your guys' thoughts are on using AI for video generation. Leave your comments down below if you plan to test this out and feel free to share some of your wins and fails with AI. I love seeing everything that you guys create and feel free to drop any questions that you have down below. See you next time.